Some basic facts about Africa. Africa is the second largest and the second most populous continent. It has about 1.4 billion people. For context, there are 8 billion people in the world. More than half, about 4.7 billion are in Asia and 1.4 billion are in Africa. Africa is the youngest continent. A majority of people are under 30 years old and about 40% are under 15 years old. There are 55 countries in Africa that are recognized by the African Union. The United Nations only lists 54. It does not fully recognize the Sahrawi Republic, which it calls Western Sahara. There are also eight territories, mostly islands off the coast of Africa, that belong to one of four European countries. Spain and France have three territories each. Italy and Portugal have one. Africa is rich with natural resources. It has about 40% of the world's gold and up to 90% of chromium and platinum. It also has the largest reserves of cobalt, diamonds, and uranium. These are essential minerals that have incredible value and are used in so many things around us, such as manufacturing steel, batteries, cars, and so much more. Africa is also an important trade route that connects the West with the East. More than a trillion dollars worth of goods move through the Horn of Africa Red Sea Corridor every year. Humans have been on the African continent for a long time. Fossils of the oldest human ancestor, more than 3 million years old, were found in Africa. Scientists named her Lucy. But for the purpose of this video, we'll start just about 500 years back. From the 1500s until the 1860s, as part of the transatlantic slave trade, people from the African continent were brought to the Americas as property for free labor. It was a brutally violent practice. After four centuries of that, in 1804, Haiti became the first nation to abolish slavery when the people revolted against the French Empire and won. Eighteen thirty-eight, Britain freed its slaves. Twenty-seven years later, in 1865, the United States banned slavery. And shortly after, the practice of chattel slavery formally ended in the West. While newly free African Americans in the West were fighting for basic human rights, some European countries, now without free slave labor at home, decided to colonize, completely control, Africa. In what's called the Scramble for Africa, which took place between 1884 and 1914, seven European empires, Britain, Spain, France, Portugal, Germany, Belgium, and Italy, colonized all of Africa except present-day Ethiopia. Driven again by free labor, as well as extracting resources and controlling trade routes. Then World War I started in 1914. While the war was between countries in Europe and Asia, some of those same powers who now fully controlled parts of Africa were fighting each other there, and they were also using African soldiers to fight their battles. Germany was fighting Britain, France, Portugal, and Belgium in Africa. Throughout the late 1800s and into the 1900s, there were many African rebellions against colonial rule. 
These are Zulu warriors who fought the British in present-day South Africa. Then it's 1939 and World War II has begun just 25 years after the first war. While some of this war was also fought in Africa, like the British here fighting Germany and Italy in Libya, much of the war was fought in Europe and Asia. When it ended in 1945, European international power had declined in some ways and African liberation movements were growing. Some wars for independence were particularly devastating. For example, Angola, Mozambique, and Guinea-Bissau fought Portugal for 13 years from 1961 to 1974 before they gained their independence. The majority of countries in Africa became independent in the 1950s, 60s, and some in the 70s. The Cold War also affected African countries who were grappling with new nations that were a result of colonization. A few decades later brings us to today. Africa is incredibly underdeveloped as wars and proxy wars over power and resources continue there. There are dozens of foreign military bases on the continent, many from the U.S. and France. These two countries, among others, still have a lot of control over Africa. Hey. Roughly 100 years after the scramble for Africa, today the continent is the center of yet another geopolitical struggle for influence. As Africa struggles to develop, this time new players such as China have changed the dynamics. There's so much more to learn about Africa, but hopefully this gives you a good primer. Please subscribe, like, and share, and come back for more Eyes on Africa on Hermela TV.